Hello friends, welcome back to Fall of Porcupine. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So, last time we started back at work as Finley. He had a bit of an accident, he's back to work now. Uh, and we did, I guess, like our first rotation might be the right word. We were helping out three different patients. Uh, now, fun fact, I think this game only has an autosave feature. I don't think it has an, uh, like a manual save, at least not that I can see. Um, so I had to redo the patients. Unfortunately, it booted me way back to when we first entered the hospital, or at least first got to our floor. Um, so I got ease across the board. It's crazy how easy it is when you know what's coming up, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to work around that. I'm hoping I can notice when it's auto-saving and try to work out the end of episodes around that. Um, because otherwise this is going to be a little bit tedious, but anyway, let's go ahead, go talk to, uh, Dr. Karoski, I think it was, since we finished all of our tasks. I still, like, I love the main character design. Look at those eyes. We're adorable. Hi. All done, Dr. Karoski. Good, good. How was it? Pretty good, I think. All right, let's see. Aha, uh -huh, that'll do, Pigeon. So like I said, going through the second time around, when you knew what to expect, it's very easy. Okay. I have another task for you. I'm giving you the opportunity to save me some time and get, a, uh, get to know the hospital a little better. Sure, what can I do? I need you to go to the lab in the basement. Just keep following the stairs until you get to the bottom. The door's on the right but you can also take the elevator if you like. I sent some blood samples to Dr. Uh, Halil down. Sorry, and I need the results. Can you manage that without injuring yourself again, Finley? As long as the stairs don't collapse underneath me, I should be okay. Well, let's all keep our fingers crossed then. Off you go. I need those results today. Lab, basement, Dr. Halil. Got it. Okay. Well, you know what? We took the elevator first time. Let's take the stairs this time. Oh, there, that leaf. I think that might have been our, uh, our save icon. Oh. Oh, there we go. That was a little bit confusing. Alrighty, first floor. Zero floor. Is it this? Oh. Well, this is spooky, isn't it? Great. Hello? Locked. Hello? That's what I said. See that red light above the door? That what? Uh, yes, I see it. Good, good. Excellent. Well done. So, I'm here to... You see the red light, don't you? Yes, I see the red light. A red light usually means something, like, very busy. Prohibited, negative, no access, or simply no. But I need the blood results urgently for Dr. Krosky. Dr. Krosky, is it? I see. That does alter the parameters somewhat. Do you want to see a magic trick? I'm not sure. Yes, yes, of course you do. Pay attention. Ta-da! Wonderful, isn't it? And I haven't even stood up yet. Can I go in now? What do you think? See a green light, don't you? Who is this smart aleck in here? Hello? Oh my god, it's a mole. Hi! Alright, here I am. Whoa! What are you doing here? I was outside the door, I was just talking to you? Fascinating. And? And what? The light, was it green? Yes, it was green. Excellent. Look, I need the blood results that Dr. Kwaski asked you for. Ah, indeed, indeed. So, why are we wasting our time chatting? Follow me. I think I have the results around here somewhere. That's always a bit concerning. Uh, 
Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Documents you requested should be just here. You keep your documents in the blood refrigerator? Of course. These time would match into the samples. I'm a great believer in shortcuts, you know? The day becomes so much more efficient if one reduces distances between A and B. My system is simple. It cuts down on sorting and filing work, too. And now you two can benefit from the fruits of my diligence. Well, if that's all. Oh, ew. Oh no. Oh, horror. What a mishap. A bang made my heart jump. The whole system. I... Let me just put things right and... It'll be all right again in no time. Oh, woe is me. Can I help you? What do you mean? You want to help me? That makes me very uncomfortable. Oh, that happens. Let's see. Just a minute. Why do the samples have different colored lids? That, my dear doctor, that's my sorting system. It looks complicated. On the contrary, it's as easy as pie. Each sample has a sticker on the lid. Each sticker has four different colors on it. Some of the samples fell out due to the accident. Others have gotten turned around, so they're not facing the right way. You need to turn the samples around till all the same colors are facing each other. When four samples are positioned correctly, they'll make a single colored square. Once all the samples are facing the right way, you'll be able to see where the samples that fell out slot in. It's quite simple. Uh... I don't got it, but let's just say I do. You're very smart. Alright, let's do this. What a disaster. The samples got mixed up, but you can fix this. Use L and R to rotate the flask. The flask is in the correct position when the colors of all four segments match with the segments and the adjacent bottles to form a square. Use X and square to move the flask that fell out. So, okay. Okay, so that makes sense. So let's work with the corners first. Uh, and this one's got to be red. And this one has to be yellow. So... Maybe like that? I might need to end up moving that around. Um... Or not. Or not. I think we're good. Um, green. Okay, so... Or maybe I do. I haven't touched these middle ones yet. Um, also, for whatever reason, this one isn't... Oh, there we go. <laughs> now it's correct. Okay. Um... Now, does this make sense? Can I move these? No? Huh. So, these four... all have yellow. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um... Oh, now I get it. I get it. Uh -huh. See? See? Look at me go, chat. I say chat as if I'm streaming. There we go. Uh, so I need blue. Yeah. Uh, yellow. And blue again. Oh my god, look at me go! I shouldn't be that bad, but I am. <laughs> oh, there's confetti! See? Uh, fantastic, isn't it? My system is infallible. Thank you for your efforts. I better get back to my work. Um, Dr. Hawil? Was there something else, dear doctor? The results for Dr. Krosky. Oh, right, right, Dr. Krosky. What didn't you say? You know, I'm always happy to help, but I only have 24 hours in my day. Here you are. My flawless system, I always have everything to hand. Enjoy. And please don't forget to close the door behind you. One needs to hear oneself think, don't you know? Um... 
I don't do a heck of a lot of that thinking, so. Alrighty, that door looks closed again. That's awesome. Let's go back up to the third floor here. Ooh, let's take the elevator this time. Here's your blood results, Dr. Kwaski. And why did it take so long? The bus the lab not turn up? No, I had to help Dr. Halil sort his samples. You had to help him? Yes, I... Do you see Dr. Halil here tending to the patients on the third floor? No, you don't, because that's not his job. St. Ursula's is a finely tuned machine. If one cog fails, everything grinds to a halt. Call it a day and take some rest. Maybe you'll feel a bit more up to speed tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning, right on time for the start of the shift. Got it. Have a nice evening, Dr. Krosky. I think we just got dismissed. <laughs> what a day. Here, you know what? Take the elevator down. Ingrid. Another day done. Any trouble getting back into the groove? You were only off sick for a few days, but it's funny how quickly you forget things sometimes. I don't know, things didn't go too well today. Trouble with Dr. Krosky? I don't think she likes me. Liking ain't got nothing to do with it, sweetie. Dr. Krosky doesn't tolerate mistakes. She's a tough cookie. So make an effort, kiddo. Who knows, you might even learn something. I'll do my best. Have a nice evening, Ingrid. You too. See you tomorrow. Alright, bye, Ingrid. Love you. Oh, I got changed again. I love that. That's a really cool way to do things. Oh, it is indeed nighttime. So, I want to mention this, by the way, friends. I'll have to go back and check my recording. Um, but again, this game is relatively new out. It's... You know, not without its flaws, and that's totally fine. We ran into some yesterday. Um, I've heard of some issues sometimes with the music pausing. Uh, I don't remember if we had music yesterday in the hospital. If we did, it was very, very quiet. Um, but we definitely did today, so just bear with. I'm not even trying. The bus won't come. Will I ever see it again? Watch as the bus comes at the very end. <laughs> We'll say this music right now, though. That's very nice. Oh, hi. Hello. This evening, isn't it lovely? Warm air that still has a little bit of summer left in it. The golden fall sun is slowly going to sleep. Ah, how wonderful. Oh. Yep. Yeah. It was nice talking to you. Apparently I had nothing to say about that. I feel the need to say something profound. I think I'll resist the urge, though. Yeah, that guy already got us covered, I think. And there's that secret trailer. Very suspicious. Okay, let's see if I remember my way home. I think for the most part, we're just going right. But maybe we'll see something new on the way home. Oh, hello. What do you want, Pipsqueak? Can't you let me smoke here in peace? Oh. Hey, I know you. You're one of the hospital gang, aren't you? One of that little busybody's pals. You mean Carl? Yeah, that's the one. He needs to keep away from me. Tell him that from me. Let's see here. Oh, nope, not that one. Uh, Roman Heidrich is the financial stuff in the hospital. It's not for me at all, but maybe he enjoys it. He asked me about the accident today, and it seems worried about me and Mr. Arnett. So I don't think we could read that the other day. Uh, 
I don't think that person got added to my notes. I can hear voices coming from Gilbert's. Juliano's probably in full flow already, handing out drinks left, right, and center. I'm too exhausted. Maybe tomorrow. Right now, I need sleep. Well, there's you again. Finally clocking off for the day, huh? Yes, at long last. You're still here too, I see. Still, please. I'm back here after quite an eventful day. So, what now? Off to paint the town red? No, not today. I'm too exhausted. Exhausted at your age? You should enjoy yourself while you can. Believe me, I used to be a real live wire, a young tearaway. Still cut a rug on the dance floor. Just as long as the music's right. Then I'll have the joint shake and believe you me. Used to be the last one standing every Friday night. I don't doubt it. But I'll have to pass today. Morning shift, you understand. Alright, alright. But let me tell you, if I had slept as much at your age, I'd be even older than I am now. That is definitely one way to think about it, but I really, really enjoy sleeping. Also, I'm sorry for going kind of quiet, but this music is really, really pretty. I could really not hear it too well yesterday if there was even music playing. So this is like a very welcome change. Okay, so I know we had construction down that way yesterday. Uh, so I think I'm almost home. I know there was a bike near my place. There's the bike. And was this it? Can't wait to just flop into bed. I'm off to bed. I want to be on form tomorrow. I think I'll just get a little more air. Ooh. I mean, I do want to be there early. I don't know if me going out influences anything. Okay. Um. Ooh, do I want to do this though? Uh. You know what? Mm -mm. No, I'm gonna be good. We're gonna be good. We can be adventurous later. Finley has said that he's tired. And I respect that. Good night, world. Go. Or good. More thing. I'm alert. I'm up for it. I can do anything. I'm on top of the world. And you took your band-aid off. That's what I would say right now if I were the kind of guy who cheers himself on in the mirror every morning. Luckily, I'm not that kind of guy. And luckily, I don't have a mirror. That would be uncomfortable for everyone involved. But at least I got out of bed on time today. That's a huge success by itself, if you ask me. I've got rid of that awful band-aid, too. Almost seven years of studying medicine, and I can finally take a band-aid off without it hurting. Maybe I do have what it takes. Yeah, that's the right sort of energy. Alright, let's go. Let's get you to work on time. No video games today, as tempting as that was. <laughs> Hi! Hey, morning there. Spare a few cents, my friend. Sure thing. Here you go. Thank you. New kid in town, huh? I haven't seen you here before. Yes, I moved here a few weeks ago. Oh, not that new then. Guess we just work different, uh, to different schedules. But put it this way. If you're the kind of guy who likes a shrewd investment, I'm sure I'll be seeing you again soon. You have a productive day now. Alfio. This morning, Alfio was sitting in front of my door. He doesn't seem to have a place to stay. Interesting. I hope we run into him again. He seems nice. You know, I was thinking about it yesterday when I was making the thumbnail for this series, which I assume you've already seen. <laughs> um, 
This game kind of reminds me a little bit of Beacon Pines as well, but not quite the same. Yo, you live across the street from here, right? Yes, that's right. Can I help you? Are you the guy who always stuffs his garbage can full of yogurt cups? No, sorry, I've never even eat, uh, never even had yogurt. Be glad, I'm on the warpath. Every round I make, I come across this one garbage can. Stuff to the brim with yogurt cups. And as if that wasn't absurd enough, most of them are still half full. So I'm trying to somehow get this mountain of yogurt cups in the truck. And all the half full cups come tumbling down on my head. I need to get a bus home and take a shower. I'll never get rid of that cherry peach and vanilla smell otherwise. Is the bus running again? Oh, yeah. Let's ask about the bus. Yeah, I took it to work earlier. Not the world's greatest cyclist, so I'm actually pretty reliant on the bus. Do you know when the bus is coming? Any moment now, I think. Where do you need to get to? St. Ursula's Hospital. Oh, you're one of those folks? The garbage cans are in a closet of their own. I was at St. Ursula's earlier this year. Slip disc. Do you know a Dr. Uh, Gotura? Gotura. I think I've heard the name before, but I haven't met him yet. I haven't been there long. Right, anyway, Dr. Gotura's a good guy. Show me some exercises. It's been better since then. Cool. If you see him, tell him uh, Matthew says hi. Will do. Are you taking the bus too? Um... You know what? Yeah, let's take the bus. Hopefully it comes on time. All right. Look, here it comes. I wonder if I miss out on dialogue, though, by, like, taking the bus, maybe? Anyway, hopefully we're on time. I don't... I don't know. Dr. Kweski reminds me a lot of some of my ex, like, managers, and it makes me anxious as anything. <laughs> in for a day work. Hi, Ingrid. Here he is again. Two days in a row without injury. You're getting good at this, kid. Yeah, I'm really proud of myself. You should be. But don't overdo it. You don't want to end up being an employee of the month. I'll be careful. How are things? Doing okay? Depends. You asking me or my back? You're back, after all. I'm a doctor. I thought so. Glad you asked. Nobody else does. Oh. They say there were times when I didn't have a bad back. I say that's a myth. If those times existed, I don't remember them. Discs went 12 years ago now. You had a slip disc? Three. Oh. Yeah. I thought things would be better if I cut back on the nursing job. Stick to the paper pushing. But let me tell you, kid, this rickety chair doesn't make it any better. I'm sorry, Ingrid. Don't be. Just watch your back, kid. It already looks like you'll snap in half at the slightest breeze. Don't let it come back to that. Or come to that, sorry. Once your back goes, it doesn't come back easy. So, it's the first rule. Don't mess it up in the first place. Don't mess it up in the first place. Exactly. You can have that one for free. How's the situation? Pretty busy. But you're on time today. Say, kid, you know your way around the hospital yet? Um, not really that well. I'm not surprised. Everyone gets lost here in the beginning. So let's start here. Right now, you're standing on the ground floor. Come visit me whenever you get a moment. I'm busy, but I never say no to a chat. The cafeteria is on the ground floor, too. Uh, Sergei's a pretty good cook, if you ask me. You can also uh, get to the back entrance from here. That's where all the medical waste gets disposed of. Our ambulance and emergency vehicles are parked back there, too. Sometimes people go out there when they need some fresh air. Most floors have access to the stairwell and an elevator. Elevator will get you where you need to go the quickest. If you're in a hurry, that's the quickest way to get anywhere. Also use the staircase to get to all the other floors. At the bottom of the staircase is the basement. That's where the lab is. Dr. Halil's quirky kingdom. But you've already met him, so I hear. 
Our central document archive and storeroom are on that floor too. All kinds of knickknacks down there. That's where Gregor dumps all his junk. Administration's on the first floor. That's where you'll find Dr. Theobald and uh, Mr. Hydrich's office. Surgery's on the second floor. Everyone worships the ground uh, Dr. Linwood walks on. The surgeon with the golden hands was recruited specially from abroad. Now he cuts folks open in our little town. Dr. Portobello and him, they love a good bicker. Nope, I don't have to tell you what's on the third floor. I'm pretty familiar by now. Really struck gold kiddo, winding up with Dr. Kowalski. Stay on her good side and you'll be a top doctor in no time. I'll do my best. Or above you is internal medicine too. It's more for patients with private insurance. Dr. Gotera and Dr. Kamala are pretty laid back. No bad thing considering how hard-headed some folks here are. You'll find out the rest on your own, kiddo. Thanks for the info, Ingrid. You're welcome. It's never a bad thing to get to know the people around you. Take a look around when you have time. If there's an emergency, you'll need to know exactly what's where. You should drop by Dr. Theobald's office. I want to be in his good books. He is the chief physician after all. I'm sure he'll love you. Okay, good thought. I'll go see him. Do you know where his office is? Yes, of course. His office? I know that. First floor, on the right. Thanks, I'll see you later. Don't trip yourself up, kid. Do we have time to go do that? Um, okay, let's take the stairs because I don't know if we can select it in the elevator. Up you get. There we go. Nope. Eh. Okay, first floor. Oh, there's a vending machine on the right. Wow. Snacks here are completely different to the ones at reception. Real brand name chocolate. Only the best wine gums. Even fresh fruit. I wonder if Dr. Theobald gets a special discount on snacks. If so, then I want to be a chief physician, too. Same here. This is Mr. Hydrich's office. Mm, no answer. Maybe he's not turned up yet. Or he already had his nose buried in some contracts. This is chief physician Dr. Theobald's office. We haven't had a chance to meet each other yet. Should I pop in and say hello? Yeah. Maybe he's not in. One moment, please. Oh. Come in. All right, let's go. That is quite the painting. What am I looking at? Very good morning to you. What can I do for you? Good morning, Dr. Theobald. My name is Finley. I'm a junior doctor. I joined not long ago. Ah, yes. I'm glad you stopped by. How are you doing so far? Settling in nicely? It's all very exciting, but I'm getting along just fine, thanks. Glad to hear it. It's a shame we're only just meeting now. I always like to welcome new faces. I'm sure that you'll do great work here. So, Finley. Uh... Oh, I think maybe that's what brings you to good old St. Ursula's. Was it the view? The love, perhaps? You don't have to tell me. I just like to chat, you know? No, no, it's okay. I finished my degree in medicine and want to start work straight away. Learn as much as I can and become a good doctor. I studied in the big city, spent all my life there, too. I've never lived in a place like Porcupine before. And I thought a small hospital might allow me to take on more important tasks. That, and I thought the place was nice. Oh yes, it's lovely here. How are you finding life in Porcupine? Well, it's different than I expected, but I haven't had much time to explore yet, to be honest. Hopefully I'll get a chance soon. Sure, sure. But I won't lie to you, Finley. The day-to-day -day in a hospital isn't easy. Work can be very fulfilling, but also exhausting. Don't let it get you down. If you can do that, I can see you staying with us for a good long time. And if you need anything, 
please let me know. I do what I can to keep all of our staff happy. Which ward do you work on? I... Unfortunately, I no longer have time to treat patients myself. I miss working on the wards terribly, but my current position simply doesn't allow it. So, why the steth stethoscope then? Oh, this old thing? I just like to keep it with me. I find it comforting. It brings me luck and uh, it helps me feel like I'm still part of the team in some small way. Was there anything else on your mind? Any questions, perhaps? About Mr. Arndt is, do you have any tips for working? So this is a really nice hospital. What do you think of the cafeteria? Let's talk about Krosky. Dr. Krosky is one of the best doctors I know. Don't let her get you down. I know you've got what it takes. And Dr. Krosky knows it too. She just doesn't show it that often. Yeah, maybe that's it. Is there anything else? Uh, Mr. Arndes? Yes, I heard about that, of course. Don't worry. It wasn't your fault. You're not the first to have a runaway patient here. It happens to the best of us. Even Dr. Linwood had to go looking for someone once. And that patient only had one leg. Anyway, it all turned out alright in the end. Dust yourself off and keep at it, okay? Okay. Thank you. So, I guess that gave us a little bit more insight, because we, we knew Finley had some sort of mishap involving Mr. Arndez up on the fifth floor, I think it was. But we didn't really hear more than that, so that's interesting. It really is, isn't it? I fell for the old lady's rustic charm too, many years ago now. Ah, yes. Is there anything else I can do for you? Um, what do you think of the cafeteria? Sergei does a good job. I complained about a dish once. The orange overture, he called it. A bit bitter for a starter, if you ask me. Anyway, I haven't spent much time there since. But that doesn't diminish my respect for Sergei. And I'm a great proponent of healthy feedback. Even the healthiest foods can leave a better taste. Is there anything else I can do for you? Uh, no, I'm good. But thanks for your time. Good, good, off you go then. I'm sure we both have a busy day ahead of us. Thank you for stopping by. We should do this again sometime. Have a nice day, Dr. Theobald. Well, he seems nice. Dr. Theobald is the Chief of Medicine at St. Ursula's. I spoke to him for the first time today. I liked the conversation. I hope to learn a lot from him. Uh, Mateo was standing at the bus stop this morning and smelled like yogurt. At first I thought he was just really into dairy when, in fact, he works at the garbage disposal and had a small incident this morning. I feel kind of... I kind of feel for him. Poor guy. Shelf is full of folders and old medicine books. Oh, I wouldn't mind looking at those. But half the contents are out of date by now. And a gold mini golf trophy. Ah, I received that award last summer. It just so happens that you're standing in the office of the local mini golf district champion. And the books aren't that old either. Interesting. This painting, though. Dear Lord. Quite an interesting one. Alrighty, so I think I'm going to have to wrap up this episode here. Oh, there's like a weird texture behind me that's not... Unless that's my monitor. Hopefully that's not my monitor. Either way, um, thank you all so, so very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Next time we're going to go up to our second day at work. Uh, and I guess we're going to see what sort of shenanigans we'll get into. Thank you so much for watching.